Uh, this is my man, one part of my man, Morpheus, and um, welcome to my look of history of video games, which I actually enjoyed when I was a kid to present day. Right, the very first game I ever took notice in the arcades was Gauntlet, and I went on playing this, got dead interest in it, and also got a home console version of it. So first, let's have a go of Gauntlet Arcade. Oh, oh. Flashback, flashback, flashback. Oh, my. Right, what shall I be today? I shall be the Valkyrie. Welcome. Welcome. Faker, 100 points. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh. Ow. So do I have uh, anything? Oh, don't moan. They need to open door. No, obviously I'm running this with an emulator. Hey, get off. The only reason why I decided to pick the uh, Valkyrie was... I never used it ever. Never ever used it. It was either the wizard or four, but... Ow. The wizard? Ow. I always picked on the arcade version, and on home console Ow. versions, I was, I was always the warrior. Uh. At the minute, I'm doing quite a sucky job. This is gonna hurt. Ah! No, no, no! Don't possess me! Ow. If any one of these is Pazuzu, I'm dead. <laughs> right, uh, anyway, what intrigued me was now and again the the narrator of the game Whoa. Don't hurt me, don't me. Whoops, some the finger. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, such a. Oh. I take it back. Shoot or fight lovers. I think I know that. Come on, help me if I suck. I haven't played this game in a while. Right, anyway, we get the gist of it. Oh, sorcerers. My health's so fucked. Yeah. I remember playing this with Tim Piago. Oh, I hate those tutorial tips. You do something new. It always interrupts. Those faces. Yeah, go on. Dope. Ouch! Valkyrie now has extra magic power. Oh. I can remember those sounds being a lot more clearer. Now it sounds like they've ripped off the voice from Buddy um, Stephen Hawkins' wheelchair. Uh, rest in peace, Stephen Hawkins. And Stephen Hawkins, thanks, don't kill me. Oh, dear. It's like I never get through this level. Anyway, we have a favorite character is like, it's Crystal the Elf and Thor. Valkyrie is a really good character, great defense, thanks for a shield. And great combat, because you got a massive sword. And I'm so sucking at this right now. Something I'm not doing right. But anyway, if I give a quick show of this. Now, I'm going to show you. I went from this to the home console version. And what's the home console version, you may think? Well, in free. 
to one to this. <laughs> yeah, this is the Armstrong version released in 1985 by Atari Games. Now, yeah, my I have my own uh, little which a uh, computer console. It was the Amstrad 464. I loved it. It's, I still liked it. I still go and put on emulators like this, um, which I'm using right now to play some classic games, which I enjoyed as a kid. And when I found it, got it in this sort of um, Christmas box set, I was so intrigued to see what it would be like. All right, let's continue on. And prepare for some really crap music. Sorry, it's the 80s. I mean, wow. <laughs> right, here we go. Press space to continue. Okay, play one, joystick one, magic buttons is the F buttons. Play two, magic button space bar. Oh, don't left, right. Now, I used to have a cheat on this game. As long as one character was still alive and needs to point to death, if play two jumps in and he takes over and it won't die, you can go on and on and on. In your cage, you just put the out 10 pence in to get extra health. But there's always a workaround, and I accidentally stumbled upon it. Because player 2 can jump in at any time. Player 1 can jump in at any time. You just have to press the button, and you only got the character that you agreed to have in the first place. Right, here we go. Let's go. Play one or play two. One player. Choose. I'm going to pick my arcade favorite, which was Merlin the Wizard. Press fire. Wizard prepared. Oh, basically, this group. Oh, actually, moves a lot better than I remember. Food. Might as well just go. Go right through them. There's no point fighting. Get forward. Get forward. Then straight to eight. Right. This is a different level eight. Still got the demons. <laughs> That's a weird bounce noise. Game. <laughs> right, anyway, that's gone it. I'm not going to put you through much of that anymore. Right, 
go to my next favorite game that caught my eye. Which was this, Double Dragon. I got tons of change on me. Ha, <laughs> kid, I'm playing on an emulator. Oh, right in the gut. Now, this game is son of a bitch hard. Well, for me, well, don't remember it being this hard on the arcade. When there was a lot faster reflexes than the kid. And what I found was a bit bizarre, you couldn't jump kick unless you were facing the right way and pressing the right button. Which was stupid. And the headboard, you had to do that forward. Oh, which was a pain in the ass. Oh, you will Yeah. Well, I got the one that r r runs fast, I suppose. That's pretty too bad. There's a worse arcade version of this out there. And it was really slow. Which is adopted to the next version, which you'll see in a minute. It took me ages to figure out how to elbow. Because I never knew you could bash buttons. Or press buttons to simultaneously together. Because the consoles I had have only two or one button. So anyway. women, how dare they? You should splash them for a Coca-Cola ball. It ain't. Yeah. I don't remember when this first came out. I heard it won't get ba oh there you go, there's a slow down one. It would won't get banned. Ow! Because it had knives in it. And we were very strict on things with knives. When I was a kid. I do. I hate knives. Cowards are using knives. Just get your ass kicked on the street and like it like I do. <laughs> it's fun picking up your teeth off the floor. <laughs> right, that's Double Dragon. Now, let's have a little look of what uh, home console version I had. The pleasure or displeasure to play. <laughs> Here it is. Yes, again on the Amstrad. <laughs> Double Dragon. Yes, I saw that in Amstrad. When I uh, came to play this at home. Now, are you ready to see some old fashioned crap? <laughs> Honestly, this is ridiculous. Here we go. Yeah, it's going to load. Sure, that screenshots. Of a film from somewhere I've seen it before, just I can't put my finger down. I know it was games back then, you to steal pictures and plonking on video game. <sighs> I don't know where I got that one from though. I thought, oh, it looks cool. Let's plonk it on. Alright, it's just going. Slip play one controls. Just joystick to joystick. There we go. It's right, Fafon. Right, here we go. 
minutes closer hit fire to begin now look at this <laughs> now like I said it's only one button so it wasn't really that hard you just go stand still and just punch and then walk into your fist that was it just stay still boom you walked into it literally Give him a kick. Nay, nay, nay. Now, to do kicks, you have to push forward while pressing the attack button. To do a headbutt, you press down. To jump in the air, up. Jump forwards. There you go, up. To go forwards. Do a flying kick, is down forward. Do a flying kick. Down away. You turn around, do all that. Spin and shrink it, but well, that's how the controls were. Well, not much you had to play with, was it? It was just, and the scrolling was a bit shy, as you can see. Whoa. Oh. Just go quick, turn around, kick him, kick him, knee, knee, and press away. <laughs> I like doing that because you can just give him the elbow. But hitboxes can be a bit fucky. So basically, it wasn't really that hard a game. Oh, but you know, if you get you, whack. There you go, you sit that him down. Wanted guy looks like he's been run nowhere. Boom, headbutt. Right, I'm not going to play this for ages. I'm just giving you an idea what it's going to be like. Oh. See, that's all they had to do to beat you. Bang. Oh. Way flying kick. Got him. Flying kick for him too. It's an old trick. Headbutt. Headbutt. So you basically got the D. Bang, bang, boom. Sim down. Right, let's move along, move along, move along. Now, whoop. Elbow, elbow. Hit button. Turn around. Punch, 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 boom. One, two, hit button, boom. Punch, kick, headbutt. <laughs> That's... <laughs> oh, God, memories. <laughs> Funny enough, I had this before I went on the, arc the arcade version. When I was a kid. Wasn't always indoors, you know. I like class myself indoorsy kind of person, and I was a bit of a child. But I went out, had friends, as any normal kid does. Hung about arcades were a rare thing. Because. Uh, Thing when I was a kid, I'd like buy video games rather than go to the arcades. Built a nice collection on me, Amstrad or whatever console I had at the time. Then I'd go to the arcades all the time. Right, here he comes. I hate this guy because he could catch you for a mile off.
and it's hard to escape the guy. So you want to do a jump kick. And try again the get into the line of fire and Boom come. Right. Boom. A lot harder than the arcade. A lot better than the arcade. <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Right, let's go on to my next game. Hi, guys. <coughs> oh, let me get comfortable in my chair. God, it's no cushion my chair. My butt's dead numb. <laughs> Last time I was like that, I had a date first. Mm. <laughs> Right, anyway, this is Ghost Hunters on the Amstrad again, but this was my first taste into eerie video games, and so I get a taste of horror, for horror games, like of uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, well I didn't, you think, oh Ghouls and Ghosts, not horror, but I had a horror feeling like zombies, ghosts, well Ghost Hunters, not because of Ghostbusters, for it's about a lad called Rick who went to try and find his brother that somehow got trapped in a nightmare mansion. Now, I, I don't know about you, but a place called Nightmare Mansion, I would stay the, f well, the effing hell. No, I'd be blunt. Get the fuck away from a place called Nightmare Mansion. <laughs> anyway. And for that, let's get on with the game. Yeah, you have to define the keys so you know what the hell's what. Right, here we go. I'm using Chase for this because Paul Cause it's not a very easy game. Right, whoop. Right, the whole idea is you gotta try to get uh, <laughs> keep your terimeter down as much as possible. Oh, you die! It's the shoot. Uh. Right on this. It was very annoying. Right, jump across. You gotta get. F oh, and don't shoot yourself. Fires will get the vampire straight off. Because if he turns on a bat, he uh, it can't be harmed in bat form. Which is annoying to high hell. Ah, cat! 
Hell, someone's pussy's gone crazy. This is better than the arcade voice on Gauntlet, I suppose. Ah! Right, get that. Oh, I can go for it. Run! Run, you damn fool, run! You die. Don't hurt me, cat. You're not the only pussy in the room. Oh. Now this game, when I first got it, was on the cassette, which, um, when it's loaded, it makes makes noises, squeaks, and all that, which is transferred into, well, translate into actual program commands. To always download the game onto system's memory. Now the other f games on it were f one of the favourites of mine was Super Run Bud. Oh my God, Dracula! Just give me a head. I got a head of Count Dracula. That's with some kind of crime. Where? Hashtag me too. I think that bad, that's really bad. <laughs> uh, apologies for a dumb joke with him. Never make light of a serious thing. Number one rule. And apologies again for that stupid joke. Oh, for crying out loud. Hunters. Ah, oh, I don't know where to get it. Well, oh, that's annoying. Oh, duh, that's what I've been doing for. Not collecting these for my health, am I? The two player game of this was just consisted of one concentrating on the climbing and walking about, while the other person will concentrate on the shooting. It was kind of cool. Let's go. Jump. Oh, drag her again. I don't even see you anymore. Oh, 
Come on. Quickly get drunk there. Ghost Hunters. Well, those hints are very low. Well, I just discovered how I get that crosshair just there. The chest, the mirror. Ah, don't cheat yourself. Enough of that. Exit room quickly. Oh yeah, because it's transferred into a bat. He's a pain in the arse when he transforms into a bat. Oh, crucifix! Ah! So, I'm going to give it a rest now. <laughs> right, on to the next game of the Quattro 4 cassette, which was, I believe, Dizzy. This is Dizzy. One of the earliest games. <laughs> I love this as a kid. Actually, insanely hard. The idea was you gotta get all the ingredients, create a potion, and defeat the evil wizards. Annoying, he's tumbling, can be. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Mother. F Oops! Whoop! Right. This makes you immortal to these little flying. I thought it was bad, see the truth. Turn out to be just. hurts. They look like bats, don't they? They look like bats to me. But if they're not red, they ain't bats! Reddish. Wait till the apple drops. 
Und das ist schon eine Gel Ach, Oh, we'll be right. Yeah, gotcha. Revenge. Now I can play this forever. The point is, like I said, you got to defeat an evil wizard that's terrorizing the kingdom. And whoop. Go with Dizzy. And Bob Mel. And watch all those the springs. And the apples that you can't see. Uh, uh. Whoa! Too dangerous. Need the raincoat. Where that is? Down here. Yahoo! Oh, okay. Sick. Bats. Ah! <laughs> anyway. There's a rain giant. You hold one item at a time, which is can be annoying, but it's part of the puzzle element. That's dizzy. Well, I'll get dizzy if you see more soon. Right, that's enough of that. Because eventually that theme song gets on your tits. Uh -uh. Right, let's go for the next game. Shockingly, end of an Amstrad one. <laughs> Hold your horses. Aliens, the computer game. This is one of the most of the games I'm going to show you. This one was my favourite out of the two I want to show you. Gives you the proper atmosphere. I mean, it's trying to make a watery effect of the actual rain going about, giving a quick wobble effect, which I thought was quite cool. Now, this one is a scrolling first person shooter, not a proper f first person shooter. It's like a side scrolling first person shooter. I wish I could, but for some reason I can't. So we're gonna go with the flare. But you don't have to wait. This just goes with a bit and bloody bloody blah. There you go, how you do a bit for you. <laughs> Aliens. No, there we go. We have Ripley, Gorman, Hicks, Bishop. Right, the idea is to move each member of the team, destroy the nest, and come back and take off again. But, I never survive, I always get killed. And I'll show you why. Now, here we go. I get the star. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> I clicked off. There we go. Control Ripley. Now I'm just gonna look around. Now this scares the shit out of me when I was a kid.
because it's menace. Listen to the music, for God's sake. This is the only safe area. It's room one. Right, here we go. I never had the instruction manual list, so I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Or where I was. You get lost dead easy without a map. Which I eventually downloaded. <laughs> oh, I didn't have the internet when I was a kid, though. It wasn't invented until I was 16. Well, it was around, but not for home use. Then I'm back. No aliens yet. I was just waiting for that thing to go off <laughs> and cut me draws. It's a bit bizarre I haven't showed up yet. Got my gun. Oh! There we are! See if we can go rescue Ripley. No, oh, she's dead. Whoa! Where it? You only get one shot against him. Gotcha! The annoying thing is, if you shoot in front of the lock, or a locked door, trail of um, acid will come up here. Make it impassable. Right. Let's have a look at. Uh, uh, what am I for? Whoa! Gotcha! Ooh, come right out of here. What'd you miss? There's supposed to be weapon caches lying about somewhere. Security office. Got him. No. The green bar underneath Gorman's name is actually Strength. Quick look around. That's Bishop. Vasquez. Burke. Go back to Bishop. No. Uh, Gorman. Whoa, where are you going? Ah! Uh, got killed. You got the gist of the game. Now let's go to the other version, which was more aimed at the more cinematic experience. Three, two, one. Here we go. Aliens, the computer game. Also, Bioelectric Dreams. Same company did that one you just saying. But this is supposed to be like a more cinematic because you get to fly down to the surface. Okay, let's see what this game is more like. Electric Dreams presents a home computer game by Steve Wright. Well, let's. Relate to a Nancy Cartwright voice about Simpson. Just realised. <laughs> oh. Produced by Brad Fetcher. Based on the film by James Cameron. Okay, update, enter mission, press return, continue. So 
sometime in the future, space, silent and endless, the stars shine like the love of God. Oh, fuck's sake. I've got space between there. Grammar, grammar, grammar. <laughs> Who cares, let's go. One little strum out. Ooh, I can't skip it. Hold on for a sec. Something's free. Please get me out. 